All right, guys, welcome back. This is a video number three, Sky Slope and Zip Form. And if you've not watched videos number one and two, you definitely want to go and view those before viewing this one. All right, at the end of video number two, we had sent out two documents to be digisigned by the client and we kind of showed you that process and how it looks in their email and all of that and then afterwards SkySlope will automatically send you right back here and this is the DigiSign completed module so this shows you where everything uh, was completed uh, so if you need to navigate back here uh, anywhere from from anywhere in the ex I'm sorry in the uh, SkySlope platform if you click on the exp logo it will take you back to your main dashboard okay so if we click digisign that's how we get to this module here this is our history of things that have been signed and this is our history in sent of things that we've sent out uh, that have not been signed yet so if you notice the first one has no signature yet the second one has been signed by the broker but not yet uh, by the other so it tells you who's signed and who's not signed yet so that's just a great uh, checkup for you to see who needs to be maybe followed up with So where did those documents go that were signed? Once they were signed, where they end up? How do I find them? And I'll show you that. So let's click that logo and go back to the main dashboard again. And then let's click on working documents. And if you recall, we have three categories. We've got personal docs, office docs, and then the zip form plus documents. And the default is personal docs. And the default folder is unfiled docs. That's our top folder. And right inside is the document that was signed. So this is where they go once they've been signed. And so you come in here and decide what you want to do with them. So if you recall, we sent two documents together rather than sending two separate emails. Uh, that makes it easier for the client, but then you have to come back and split those documents up, which is really easy. So I'll show you how to do that now. We'll just click on split. And we'll wait for that document to load into this window. So we want to split the first four pages, which are the buyer's agency. As you can see, they're both signed right here. And had I sent it to the broker, there would be a signature down there as well for the broker. Uh, so pages one through four are going to be my buyer's agency agreement. And then page number five, as you can see here, is the wire fraud advisory document. So WFA is what I put there. <clears throat> and then I hit split. Nice job. Return to docs. So now, as you can see, I have the original doc and the two that I just split off of it. So it keeps the original, I guess, just in case you need to go back and do that differently. So I always hang on to that too, just in case. So now... I need a folder to put these into to categorize these. So I click add folder here and I'm going to call this Bell, Bob and Bonnie. And now the, uh, this module will not allow you to use special characters. So you can't use commas or dashes or anything like that. So decide how you want to put that in there, uh, for you, uh, the best reference for you. So, uh, if I go back up into, uh, so, oh, so, uh, go back up into unfiled docs. And I want to take all three of those documents, <clears throat> the original and the two that split off, and I want to move those now into Bell, Bob, and Bonnie. And that's where I am, Bell, Bob, and Bonnie. And here are their documents, and you go back up into Unfiled, and there is nothing in there. And this is what you want. You want that this uh, folder clean, because if this starts piling up, then you start getting confused about whose documents are whose, um, and then you can always go and preview them, but that's a hassle. So just stay on top of that. And now uh, there are also documents that I need to send over to uh, Bob and Bonnie that are not for signatures, and I need to send them a EPA lead-based paint brochure, and then I also want to send them over the Missouri Brokers Disclosure uh, form as well, and neither one of those require a signature so I keep those in no sign docs right here okay I uploaded these uh, just from the computer and uh, PDFs and then uh, actually the Missouri Dis disclosure is a uh, yeah it's a PDF as well anyway so um, 
So I want to email both of these over, and I'll just show you real quickly the Missouri Brokers <clears throat> Disclosure. Uh, I felt filled that in in zip forms uh, the way it should look. And uh, checked everything but subagent, and I let, left other off. And then I've also got the uh, broker uh, information right here as well. Okay, so... That's what that looks like. And the lead-based paint brochure is just the, the, it's a large file and it's the uh, EPA's um, PDF. So anyway, I'm going to click them both and I'm going to send them via email to Bob Bell and Bonnie Bell. And of course, I'll put in a subject and I'll put a message saying uh, these are for informational purposes. You, there are no signatures required, uh, blah, 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 whatever you want to send in there. Okay. And then I'll click uh, send and those will go uh, to Bob and Bonnie. And then I'll have a record that they have received those. I'll go ahead and hit send. <clears throat> I'll have a record that those were received by them, whether they ever look at those or not. Okay. So the final thing I want to do uh, is... Go back to Bob and Bonnie's documents here. And once I have gotten to the point that I'm ready to either create a listing or submit an offer on a listing, um, once I'm at that point, then, and I've done that, then I can come in here and assign these documents to that particular transaction. So I click on these documents and, and anything else I have. If I've got my sale contract in here, I'll click on that. If it was a seller, then I'll... Uh, click on the uh, lead-based paint and the seller's disclosure to attach those as well. So I go, come up and hit assign, and then that will allow me to select the property or the transaction that I want to assign those to. Okay, so, um, and then the last thing we'll do is I'll go back to the uh, main menu, manage listings. So I already have, I've got one listing in here. I'm just going to click on that one. And I don't really want to look at all of this information here. I want to look at the checklist. Uh, checklist is where you always want to check back and see if you're in compliance, see what else you need. Uh, you see here the uh, listing contracts in there, uh, lead paints in there, seller disclosures and review. Uh, I still need an MLS sheet. Had I known then what I know now, I would have waited and done the MLS entry first. Uh, these clients ended up dragging their feet and they're not uh, ready. They still have to finish a remodel. So we put that on hold and, and did not do the MLS sheet first, but I would have waited to do MLS sheet first and then create the listing and draw everything in. But uh, I know that now. So this just tells you what's been completed and what else is needed. And you can attach documents here uh, from your computer as well. So you can assign them or you can attach them either way. All right, so that's pretty much it for this uh, tutorial. I will most likely make another video when I learn more about the system. I hope that you find this helpful. Have a great day.